Hello YouTube and welcome to the first video on the Linux command line. And before we get started, I'm going to give you guys a little bit more information about this series. So what my plan is, is to have videos that range from three to four minutes long and cover a fairly small set of topics, but uh, be short and concise so that if you want to come back and review material later on, it's easier to find it rather than having to dig through a long 10 minute video. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my virtual machine here. This is Ubuntu. If you haven't installed this yet, um, go ahead and look at my last video and it'll give you links to VirtualBox and Ubuntu. And if you need help installing it from there, there's plenty of guides online. It's pretty much, you know, click next, next, next through it, fill in the what you need to, your username, password, things like that. So I'm not going to cover that. So once you're logged into your Ubuntu desktop or whatever Linux you're using, um, I guess this part right here only applies to Ubuntu, but go and click on the Ubuntu and search terminal and you'll see this right here so go ahead and open that up and that's going to be uh, the window that gives you access to the Linux shell so let me make this a little bit bigger and zoom in some here okay so before we get started with commands I'm gonna go ahead and kind of explain what's going on right here so what this is right here is the prompt now we are using what's known as bash or the born again shell and I'll be covering um, what that is and other alternatives to it more in depth in a later video. But let's go ahead and look at uh, what what's going on right here in this line. So right here we have Sam. So that's just the username that I'm currently logged in under. After that we have an at symbol and then after that we have this. Now what this is is it's the name of the computer. So whatever name you gave your computer when you installed Ubuntu, that's what's going to show up here. That just lets us know that we're working with the file system that's associated with this computer. So if you were doing you know, a, rem a remote shell, it would show something else. After that, we have a colon, and then we have a tilde. Now what this stands for is our user's home directory. Now this is a folder. Uh, it, it's, it's two folders from the root folder, and uh, I'll, I'll go over what the root folder is later on. But this is just where it's going to automatically open to whenever you open the terminal, just your user's home directory. And then the money sign means that it is waiting for a command. So now that we've got that covered, let's take a look at some of these warm-up commands um, that we're going to dig into. So what we have right here is pwd. Now pwd shows you your present working directory. So if I just come back to the shell <clears throat> and I type pwd, my home directory is under forward slash home forward slash Sam. And this is useful for cases like ours where we don't know where we are and we have the tilde, but if we type PWD, it's going to show us exactly where we are in the file system. Up next, we have clear. Now what this does is, it's pretty obvious, it clears the prompt. So if you've got a lot of stuff going on and you kind of want to clear it out, um, all you need to do is type clear and everything will disappear and we are left with just a prompt left. Up next, we have ls. Now, what ls is going to do is it's going to list all of the files that are in the current folder you're in. So if I come back here and type ls, you can see we've got folders, desktop downloads, music, you know, all everything you would expect in a home directory. And then I've got a another file right here. I'm not sure uh, exactly what that's for. So whenever you're in a directory, you can type ls. And what that's going to do is... Um, give you a listing of all the files. Now we'll go more into options um, and arguments for that later on. Um, up next we have CD. So what CD stands for is change directory. So what I can do is, let's see, from the command prompt I can type CD forward slash. Now this is going to take me to the root of the drive. And you can see that it changed this forward slash right here um, to, to um, update that with my changing of the directory. Now if I type ls again, it's going to show me all of the folders that are in the root of the drive. And we'll go over you know, what's stored in these um, and, and what you would expect to find in these later on in another video. So if you want to go back to your home directory and you're not quite sure uh, where you are, how to get back there, all you have to do is type cd without any arguments. Um, and an argument is this, what we gave it last time. We're saying change directory to the root. So if we run it without any arguments, what it's going to do is it's going to take us right back 
to our home directory. Let's go ahead and clear this out. And let's take a look at one more command before we're finished. Um, cal. Cal is a pretty um, funny kind of, you know, cool little command that you probably won't use very often. Um, but what it does is, if I type cal, it gives me a current calendar with the month, the year, and the current date. All right, so that's it for this episode. We're going to dive more into uh, other commands and arguments and the file system of Linux um, and everything that's yet to come in the further episodes. So don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.